Welcome back, Spartans. Before we get into things, I want to say thank you to everyone who liked my little voice acting trick uh, from yesterday. It's really appreciated. I wasn't sure if uh, if that was going to be well received or not, so thank you all. To start, in the course of making yesterday's video, more posts were made by our humble catalog. Before we get into those posts, I need to address a mistake I made. About four and a half minutes into the previous video, I mentioned a post made in a topic about the mysterious species that crashed on Installation 04. It seems that this was a joke, a response to an earlier post in the topic that said, quote, well, it was capable of slipspace travel, so that eliminates dogs, cats, and certain bears. To refresh, Catalog's response was, Query answer. No known tier 2 species matching suggested morphology. R.E. Ursus sapiens. So, yeah, I made a huge deal out of a single sentence that turned out to be a joke. I done goofed, as they say on the intranets. Moving forward, yesterday was as much of an information gold mine as the day before, so let's dive right in. As will continue to be the standard, I want to address these posts in the order they were made, but the last post by Catalog yesterday was of particular significance. Temporary link established. Temporal frame of reference update requested. Error confirmed. Coram vobis. Amend reference to slipspace event to 25, 52, 11, 18, 15, 45, 51, dash, 11, 18, 15, 48, 21. Initial message corrected. This was in reference to how High Charity got to Installation 00, the Ark. In its original post, Catalog noted that High Charity activated a portal over Mars on December 18th, 12, 18, 15, 45, 51 in my original video, at 15, 45, 51 hours, the portal closing at 15, 42, 21 hours, two and a half minutes later. In established canon, this really makes no sense because the Battle of Installation 00 only lasted the day of December 11th, 2552. So, unless people were interpreting the numbers wrong or the grave mind discovered time travel, there was an error in Catalog's post. And indeed, there was an error. Catalog issued a Coram Vobis, which is a legal writ issued to correct a previous error. In this case, it was correcting the date of the Gravemind's activity over Mars, the correct date being November 18th, one day after the Covenant Separatists and the Forward Unto Dawn followed truth through the portal on Earth. It is still interesting, the idea of another portal located on Mars. Perhaps more mysterious is that no one noticed the activity on November 18th. Now, granted, there was a lot going on, seeing as the Dawn and Separatists had only left the day before. But Mars is a populated human colony. One of its moons is even a penal colony. Still, we don't know anything about this portal other than it exists, so anything's possible right now. Moving forward, let's take a look at some of the other posts made by Catalog. Process tree cleared. Contacting Adom Terminal slash juridical connected. Focus. Protect. Preserve. Warning. System diagnosis slash security. Builder security not responding. Facility AI reporting acceptable conditions. Queuing request for low intensity military exploration detachment to audit. So again, we see Catalog accessing the juridical network via a terminal on Mars. Once connected, we get the message, Focus, Protect, Serve. Another fun pseudo-cryptic message. After that, Catalog realizes that Builder Security cannot be reached, which, if you remember, it did try to contact Builder Security the last time it accessed the terminal. This actually makes a lot of sense since, well, most forerunners are dead and Builder Security basically doesn't exist anymore. The message ends with the facility AI reporting that everything is okay. Nevertheless, Catalog requests a military detachment to audit the facility. Query. After leaving the Lesser Ark, where did the Isodidact and the remaining Forerunners go? Do their descendants exist in another galaxy, or even this one? Master Juridical, Serti Arari, forwarded to Locus, Poenitentiae. Further records sealed, pending juridical review of new council activities. So here, Catalog notes that Master Juridical, Serti Arari, reviews or information, are being forwarded to Locus Poenitentiae, or a place of penance, as has been noted in the Halo Encyclopedia and hinted in the Salentian epilogue Rebirth, the surviving Forerunners left the Milky Way galaxy after firing the Halo Array as an act of penance. This was their Great Journey, and where, in part, the Covenant got their idea of the Great Journey. It also notes that further information is locked at this time, pending review of the new Council. Now, it could just mean the catalog's databases are outdated, or it could mean that there is a thriving Forerunner society somewhere, complete with juridicals and a new council. Query. Does the year 2324 hold any significance to you? Searching. No cases scheduled for 2324. 16,777,216 cases remain unscheduled in local cache. Warning. Time since last successful synchronization. 
8,876,621,261 plus minus 512 hours. So, personally, I didn't really understand the nature of this question. 2324 has no significance to Halo that I have found. However, it is interesting to see Catalog's response, including the number of unscheduled cases and the time since its last synchronization. The number is given 876,621,261 plus or minus 512 hours roughly translates to 100,004 years and 205 days plus or minus 21 days. So, basically, the last time the Halo array fired. That'd be around 97,446 BCE if anyone's interested. Query, what is the significance of the UEG colony, Coral? Searching. Updating coordinates from Adam Control. Searching. Location coincide with CE-2-1239E. Multiple. Quius est solum, aes est usque, ad coelum. Violations inferred. Filing cases. Request juridical advocates ad litem for summary judgment. Now this is a fun one, since Coral is a human colony first mentioned in Isle of Bees, an ARG for Halo 2. While it was well received, the story of Isle of Bees was quite the problem for lore nuts and still continues to be. Still, we do know that some of it is official, including the colony of Coral. It is fun to see the Forerunner designation of this world, CE-2-1239E, and I can't help but wonder if the CE might be a reference to Halo CE. Just kind of thinking out loud there. What's really interesting is the Latin term which translates to whoever owns the soil, it is theirs all the way up to heaven. Quisus es solum eus est usque ad coelum is a legal term about property rights. And as the translation suggests, it means that if you own a plot of land, you own the airspace above it and the ground beneath it. Catalog says that multiple violations of these rights have occurred on coral. Now this could be a reference to humans discovering a forerunner artifact on coral as was mentioned in Conversations from the Universe, a packet of conversations included with Halo 2. However, in my opinion, I think this probably refers to the Covenant glassing the planet. The answer ends with catalog filing cases regarding the violations. Query. What is the significance of the Boomerang Nebula? Searching. Updating coordinates from Adam Control. Searching. Location coincident with multiple Star Road Loci. Location coincident with multiple Classis Malum. Warning. Fleet Command Sector designation. Burn. No transit permitted. Ah, the Boomerang Nebula. This nebula became somewhat significant in Halo 3's Iris ARG, but only playing a minor role in unlocking one of the terminals. It seems, however, that the nebula was the site of many star roads, a precursor technology the purpose of which is mostly a mystery. Star roads were seen in many forms, as orbital arches or as literal roads between planets or entire star systems. Late in the Forerunner Flood War, the Flood weaponized the star roads quite effectively. This explains the next line, where Catalog notes the nebula being the location of multiple classis malum. One possible translation is fleet disaster, perhaps meaning heavy forerunner losses. It ends with the nebula being noted as a burn, a sector with heavy flood activity, one that has been completely abandoned by the forerunners. Query, what is the status of Installation 07? Searching. Result, one case pending against Monitor 117649. Summary, multiple. Ibelis Conventionis, filed by Alpha Site Monitor 343. Consolidated. Awaiting update from juridical control. Warning. Site status request requires elevated command authority. Now here, we learn that a case has been filed against Monitor 117649. It seems that Guilty Spark tried, on many occasions, to contact the Monitor, but with no success. We end with Catalog noting that an update on Installation 7's status requires higher authority than Catalog has. This could be a reference to the numerous grave mines or flood last seen on Installation 07 in Halo Primordium. Query, what is the status of 049 Abject Testament? Searching. No pending cases against Monitor 049. So, Abject Testament may be MIA, but no one seems to have cared enough to file a report. Query, what is the status of 2401 Penitent Tangent? Searching. Result, two cases pending against Monitor 2401. Summary, multiple Libellus Conventionis, filed by Alpha Site Monitor 343, consolidated, awaiting update from juridical control. Incomplete filing of Animus Nocendi against Monitor 2401 from Delta Site Bergari, received 
22,959,960 plus minus 8 hours ago by Adam Control. Legal form letter sent by Adam Control requesting reply from Delta Site Bugatti through approved channels. Like with monitor 117649, there are cases filed against Pennant and Tangent, likely as a result of Guilty Spark making multiple requests to contact Tangent. We also have note of an incomplete filing of grievances against the monitor from Delta Site. Delta Site, which contains, at least in part, the multiplayer map Cold Storage, is one of the flood containment facilities. I can't say for sure what Bugatti is, but one suggestion is that it means those who maintain the forts. This would make sense if it is referencing the monitor seen on the map Cold Storage. The message ends with Catalog trying to make contact with Delta Site. Query. What is the extent of the Forerunner presence on Adom? Searching. Connection lost. Contacting Adom Terminal slash Juridical. Connection refused. Contacting Adom Terminal slash Juridical. Connection refused. System Diagnostic slash Security slash Operator. Contacting Adom Terminal slash Juridical. Connection locked. Initiating query. The last question. Catalog makes multiple attempts to access the juridical network after initially losing its connection and is continually refused. Finally, it attempts to contact security and makes one last attempt to access the Mars terminal. This time, the connection is locked. As the night went on, Catalog apparently found a way to temporarily connect with us, posting around other threads this time. Query answer. Infros Roam and Uze Taha confirmed active post-covenant war. Additional details pending cyber intrusion of human frumentari cores. It's good to know that these two are still around. For those who don't know, Infros Roam, apparently now Nthro, and Uze Taha were the third and fourth playable campaign characters, respectively, from Halo 3. Hopefully we'll get to see them again in future media. Interesting is the fact that Catalog was apparently trying to infiltrate human databases. It says it's trying to hack into Frumentari cores. Now historically, the Frumentari were wheat farmers, but became a sort of secret service in the Roman Empire during the 2nd and 3rd centuries. This has led many, myself included, to believe that Catalog is probably referencing Oni. That, and the next mention of the Frumentari was in a thread about Oni. Sorry if this one is already on here, but I caught a glimpse of a few things saying that Oni knew about the Flood before the events of Halo CE. Could someone please verify this? Query answer. Initial cyber intrusion evidence suggests relevant Covenant and Forerunner directives copied to through Matari cores before Parasite outbreak in 2552. However, threat dynamic analysis shows human security forces did not widely implement minimal accepted suite of Parasite containment protocols until evaluation of Reclaimer Alpha Site combat data in 2553. So, it seems that Oni may have had hints or maybe even full-on knowledge about the Flood prior to the Battle of Installation 04, but never really acted on this knowledge. Either Oni's incompetent or lazy. Finally, this post appeared while I was writing up this script. Temporary link established. Meta query response follows. Due to the volume of queries and limited cycles that can be allocated to information retrieval and translocation outside of core juridical and archival functions, the following notes are provided to ensure low latency and high quality customer service. Queries that require extensive research and sanitization are unfortunately allocated to a lower priority. Additional requests for information can always be submitted to System Bravo for further review. System strings do not need to follow standardized forms. Catalog can understand idiomatic speech and many human idiosyncrasies. However, phrasing requests in a standard form is useful in thread topics with many requests competing for attention. Query strings do not need to attach priorities. However, these are useful in determining allocation of limited resources. Catalog reviews as many queries as possible but some topics have been deemed restricted or compartmentalized by standard juridical protocols and cannot be addressed at this time. Catalog's answers are correct as of time of publication, but users should be aware that reconciliation effects and integrity checks may alter specifics at a later time. Priority allocation of spare cycles toward information retrieval is Friday and Saturday. Service interruptions may occur during times of heavy caseload. Your patience is appreciated. Basically, just a nice way of saying, I'm doing my best, but don't expect too much out of me. At this point, I'm kind of inclined to think that this may not be an ARG. Section 3 seems to think that it's unrelated to the ongoing Oni ARG, but a fancy way for 343 to interact with fans. Still, it's only been two days, and anything can still happen. That's all for now. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time, Spartans. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. 
It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.